Hi Capricorn, welcome in to your reading. Um, I don't know, did I do one last week for you guys? I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh my God, you guys have, you're, you're on a mission. <laughs> I didn't start dropping the cards yet, but I will read what fell out. You guys are on a fucking mission. You're on a mission of love. Let me tell you, you're coupling up here with somebody, somebody that you feel like is your soulmate. And you're moving forward. You're like, fuck it. Even if the bad shit happens, I don't care. There's good shit here too. So your, your, your agenda is this, to find this person that you think is your soulmate. And you're texting them on an emotional level. Check your asses out, huh? Well, anyway, I've been doing these readings bi-weekly, but I think you came like third or something like that. I don't know. So I was like, let me just do another reading this week for Capricorn. And this is good until the end of April, to be honest with you. All right? Because we always say take what resonates and leave what doesn't, at least for me, because honestly, guys, you're all dating different zodiac signs and you're at different stages with said zodiac and different cycles. Some of you met somebody brand new. Others of you are having reconciliation. Others of you just broke up. That's why we say take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The other thing that can help you is if you listen to your moon and your rising and you will get a common thread across the board. All right. And this is also good for anybody that is a moon or a rising in Capricorn. All right. So like if you're a rising Capricorn, this is how people perceive you. Or how they think you are in this relationship. Okay. Thank you. Guys, I don't know, but I already see good shit. <laughs> really good shit. Some of you might have a Leo in your life. Others of you, you might have an Aries. Two major arcana, and those are them. Aries and Leo. It doesn't have to be. They could just be taking on that energy. What's coming towards you, though? That fucking card fell in the best position. Damn. The sun, happiness. That's what's coming towards you. Your situation is actually the emperor. Taking control of a situation or a dynamic. Uh, what's the advice, please, for Capricorn? We're talking before I even put down all the cards. Let's see what's going on. All right. Interesting. That's very Capricorn energy for advice. Thank you. Outcome. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, Spirit. Now, overall message for the week is going to be... Wow. The Ace of Swords. This is the Ace of Swords. Guys, you're going to have truth, honesty, and clarity. You're going to have a truthful conversation here with somebody, which is going to spark a fresh new beginning based off of honesty. So you're going to be on the same page with this person, like all the cards on the table, where that must have recently happened. Because before that, this was faded. Archangel Michael's here, temperance. You had a passionate new beginning that was faded and guided by Archangel Michael himself. Now... Here you are, or they are. You felt like they were stable. So you're like, cool, cool, cool. But at some point, somebody here in the past was dealing with a marriage and it was over and, or they had a major commitment, it was over and they didn't know what to do. So at, as you moved on, you were torn possibly, or your person was torn and you didn't know what to do with a person here because somebody here wanted a commitment. Others of you, somebody here wanted a commitment and you didn't know what you wanted to do. All right. You went in your headspace or they went in their headspace and you're kind of just like the, you left the emotions out and you use logic. Well, fuck that afterwards because you ended up becoming a couple and because you realized that you both made each other happy right all right then the communication was going back and forth like normal and you started a new chapter in your life but then something happened somebody took a time out to think about this which i suspect is you you took a time out to say to yourself okay i need stability is this person wise a wise choice for me and you probably decided sure yes it is let's have a passionate new beginning and the fireworks started well it was faded somebody upstairs thought it was a good thing for you two to meet downstairs and with all of that said, what you want after the Ace of Wands is you really want this after. Because that's the Boom Boom card, but this is the Honesty card. And this is what you want to hear and see. So this is going to be the theme for the week. Now, you might be dealing with an Aries. There might be an age gap here with you. Um, I don't know, but this is also talking about controlling a situation. 
being dominant and controlling. And maybe, guys, you're a cardinal sign and you could be dealing with another cardinal sign. It might feel like there might be a little bit of a power play. I don't know why I'm vibing this. It's a very weird feeling. Um, but we're going to clarify all of this. Others of you, this is just somebody that you're dealing with. And this person to you is like an emperor in your eyes. Now, you're fucking happy. That's in, in the future position. Who doesn't want to see that shit in the future position? <laughs> could be a Leo also coming towards you. There's not, uh, nothing else I could say about that. That's happiness. Uh, what you don't see coming is, wow, a courtship. You're courting some, somebody's courting you, like to get married. Something traditional in order to lead to marriage. Here's the queen of swords, though. This is you. You are my queens, whether you're male or female listening to me, my kings are the incoming energies. Now, if I say he or she, you guys know to flip it. Except the kings. The kings could be male or female. That is incoming energy. And you, the listener, is uh, the queens. All right? You with me? So we can see the difference. Now, the queen of swords and the six of cups. You're thinking about the past. Something about the past. Because um, you don't see this coming. You, you, you get a little analytical in regards to the past and towards this courtship with somebody. Just be careful that you don't shut down those emotions, Capricorn, altogether. Because, sure, maybe you're making a logical, rational choice here with this person. But, you know, the person doesn't want to feel like, you know, you're a robot either or that this is just mechanical. Yeah, Because yeah, especially if you're dealing with fire signs or passionate people, they're going to want a little bit of that feeling or those words of affirmation from you. I'm just telling you what the best advice is here. You could tell me to go shove it. <laughs> but this is what you don't see coming. You're, you're analyzing this courtship. You're analyzing this um, dating process with this person. Um, and But you're also thinking about the past, and you also feel like this person, there's a soul connection with them. You definitely feel like a soulmate connection with the Six of Cups. Now, your advice is to weigh your pros and cons. That's pretty much it. Weigh your pros and cons. I don't really know what else to say about that because that's what Spirit's saying. Now, your outcome. Wow. What is this, guys? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like this, but it's only a weekly reading. Things could change. First of all, you have a very profound connection with this person. Who's this lover? This is also a Gemini card. You have this. This is why Archangel Michael Temperance was down there because he's the protector of relationships. And I said, somebody upstairs thought it was a good idea for you downstairs. Let me show you very closely. Do you see that little red figure right there? That's your angels that had guided the two of you to get together to be lovers because there is a profound bond and connection between the two of you. And that is your outcome. However, either you or the other person is stressing out over this connection. Because somebody here is feeling abandoned, all right? Because they feel like somebody's not putting in the work towards this dynamic. And that is probably why I said what I said about you being analytical with the Queen of Swords. Not giving those words of affirmation. Not saying the I love you's or the I misses you or how you feel about this person. Um, that's why I was like saying, be careful you're not too mechanical. Somebody here feels abandoned uh, by the notion that someone's not putting in the work or effort. And it might not even be the case. It just could possibly be about communication. You're not communicating. You're not saying how you feel or the other person's not saying how they feel. It's just showing me what's actually happening. And because of this reason, this person or you are having full-blown anxiety over it. And meanwhile, you, you have anxiety because you know there's a profound connection with this person. You feel like you're soulmates. Let's go ahead and start clarifying what's going on here. What is this uh, king of... King. The emperor, please. Let me have one more, please. Okay, are you guys, like, somebody here is very defensive or resisting, but holding on. Yes, there's Archangel Michael again, Temperance. All right. Somebody is holding on too tightly to, uh, to control the dynamic. 
And at first I was like, what's the Four of Pentacles? This is clinging on to a person. But it's not. It's clinging on to control. Control is control. It's not love. Love is love. Sometimes people think by controlling the relationship or the dynamic, by testing them, by asking them questions, by even having arguments, they do these crazy things to see how the other person feels because the maybe it's not coming through a direct version, a direct way, which is just verbalizing. So somebody here is now getting resistant or, you know, defensive because somebody's trying to control the dynamic here. It's not what I would normally think or feel about this card, but yeah, maybe you're also, for some of you, this Aries person is very defensive and resistant and is holding on to like some kind of bullshit, some kind of control issue. What's the sun? That's your situation. So let's see. The sun, clarify the sun. Well, at least the sun's here. For happiness. Ooh. Yes. Somebody here is emotionally guarded and not vulnerable because they're the wounded warrior. Either you or they had gotten hurt in the past and now they're just emotionally shut down. Knight of Swords. Yeah, King of Swords. Your purse, it's your person. Your fucking person is trying to control the dynamic. That's what the fuck is going on. I think they're doing this. They're trying to be strategic. Some of you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they're coming in with these messages and very, very quickly. But it also feels very, like, defensive. Very, like, a little angry. You know, look, they're challenging you. And I don't know. Maybe you like this challenge. Maybe it makes you happy. It makes you like, oh, they're fighting with me because they care about me. Or some, some weird shit like that. Of course, flip it. But this person is coming in because... It's not, it's coming from a place of where they're not showing their feelings or the emotions. So you guys are probably having intelligent conversations. You're probably having um, great communication in that regard. But the feelings, the feelings aren't being exposed. All right. And Archangel Michael is working fucking overtime for you too. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Overtime for you too. Over fucking time, guys. What? This relationship could be possibly hanging on by a thread. And these are in the future positions. Yes, this person. You make each other happy. The problem is somebody here is resisting the connection because they're emotionally shut the fuck off. Ugh. So frustrating for me because this looks like I see two soulmate cards here. And this is the one thing that's like because somebody's trying to control. Instead of just flowing and opening up emotionally and... I feel like you're both like reacting from fear here, but you make each other happy. But the stress comes out in the wash. What's this? The higher font, the six of cups. Some, some of you could be thinking about a relationship from the past also and reconsidering it for some of you. Yeah, Queen of Cups, that's you. Love, the Chariot, Cancer. Some of you might have been dating a Cancer in the past or some shit like that. I don't know. Anyway, so you're, you have your agenda, Capricorn. Your agenda is to move forward with love. It really is. And as we were saying earlier before, because you are my queens, now, this is also a Cancer card, but this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. In any regard, you're moving forward regardless of the positive and the negative because you're analyzing the situation for the way it is. And at the bottom of the deck, which is in way down the pike, like in the future, is the Ace of Pentacles offering this person, well, yeah, to, to, to move forward together into the future. Um, so what you don't see coming, guys, you're, you're going to be analyzing this courtship with this person they're right for you if you should marry them because i feel like what you're doing right now capricorn you're debating if this person is marriage material that's what that's showing to me but you're still moving forward with your agenda in love so you're going for it regardless and you're going to be like all right we'll see in the wash how it plays out let's just see if we're compatible that's why advice is like weigh your pros and cons because you are analyzing whether this person is marriage material or not what's the two of pentacles
Ooh, your title. Let's see if they're marriage material. Let's find out. <laughs> uh, yeah, Spirit's like saying the only way that's going to happen is if you work with them. You need to collaborate the both of you. You both, I think you, you, your love languages are very fucking different, whoever you guys are dealing with. A person that you're dealing with is very passionate, very fiery, very like, ah, like, you know, comes out with emotions. You're like, and you're very practical. You're very reasonable. You're very strategic. Um, you got to mesh that somehow. How are you going to mesh that? You got to collaborate with one another and figure it out because you got to weigh your pros and cons here in order for you to make the right decision. Because for some of you, this is a relationship that's hanging on by a thread in a way. Okay. Others of you, this is a relationship that's trying to be revived from the dead. Death in reverse. So it's one or the other. Yes, because somebody's holding back their feelings. And because they're healing from something from their past. Or, you know, maybe something went down for some of you in your past. And now you're withholding your feelings because you're trying to heal from the past. Others of you are either reviving an old relationship or, or you're just hanging on or hanging in there. All right. Because this person is a lover. I don't think you're married to them yet, obviously. But you're stressed out that somebody feels you feel abandoned and that you, you feel this person isn't putting in their fair share. Tell me about this outcome, please, with the Nine of Swords, the Lovers. Page of Pentacles, yeah, I see. You feel like they're breadcrumbing you. They're giving you just enough. Um, some of you are wanting a reconciliation, and it might happen down the road because there's three of cups down there. Yeah, debating about you having something to do with the future. I suspect if you two actually committed to each other, you'd figure it out. But right now, somebody's operating from the resistance, the strength resisting emotions from coming forward seven of wands resisting the the urge to to talk using control in order to figure out if this person loves you all of this is going to manifest stress and anxiety and you're, it's going to pull you apart that's why we keep seeing death in reverse now what's being clarified by the stress and the eight of pentacles and the abandonment issue is the is the marriage card is the relationship is the uh the courtship the six of pentacles feeling breadcrumbs you know in in regards to this getting a page of pentacles it's a page it's not a knight it's not an ace it's just a little page but it's something like look at this guy he's begging for more and he's only giving a few coins sparse in regards to the marriage card to higher font this could be you doing this too capricorn to your person and then your person is the one that's like stressing out and freaking out there's a method to everyone's madness. We're all human. Now, let's see what your romance angels have to say. Those of you that are members in the extended, um, we're going to clarify whatever pops out here now. Um, and we're going to see your, your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions towards you. And hidden oracle messages. Because in, the, in these readings, I like to concentrate on you and your incoming for the next two weeks. You know what I mean? And then... The extent that we go more into them. Wow. Yeah, engagement. Some of you are debating on getting engaged to this person, but you're not sure. Because very soon is at the bottom of the deck. That's why I keep seeing the debate on the higher font. If the, oh my God, are they marriage material? This is it? Some of you are also engaging with somebody new or somebody from your past. I don't know. We're going to clarify this with Tarot. Now, this deck. This deck, is, to me, is always on point. It's called Wisdom of the House of Night. There's always a message in these guys that is so profound and right on point. These are your, this is a Team Capricorn here, okay? These are your spirit guides in heaven that are here for you Capricorns, those of you that are listening, these messages are pretty like right on target. Great advice. Because they're the ones on, you know, on the outside looking in of your life. Oh, wow, 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 holy shit. I've got the chills, look at this. 
choices. Do you see the wings? Is that crazy? Positive, negative, choices. 46, the two of pentacles, choices. Sorry, I have to read this. It's a new deck, but I always find it to be so sincere and profound. It's amazing. These are your spirit guides directly talking to you. And I'm always wondering, like, what do they think? <laughs> Every choice you make has a consequence. Even, even the, your thoughts are like magnets. That's so true. Drawing experiences to, to you for the good or for the bad. Be careful of what you're trying to do, whether you're operating from positive or negative. All right. Do you know the story of the winged immortal in the house of night who had to choose between the dark and the light? Do you know what he chose? Right now, you are faced with such a choice. All you need to do is ask, is this for my highest good? The choice you make will be an important step in your life lesson. Remember, even not deciding is a choice. Okay. What will it be? That's why you have very soon here. All right. Choose another card to show you what your choice will bring you, which we'll do an extended. So choose another card there. All right, guys, those of you that are members, the link is down below. Uh, and everybody else, I'll see you in a week or two.